Showtime, a-holes. They'll be here any minute. Welcome back to the show. Today I'll show you my version of fixing places on your bumper if they break, crack, pieces break off. You can put them back together. I try to do it. I can't get another bumper for the vehicle I'm working on. Today I'm working on the front bumper for the Cobra Escort, Escort GTs from 91 to 96. You can't get a GT bumper. So I put mine back together and I'll show you how I did it so maybe you can do it, save yourself a few bucks. And you never know, might be able to do a little modification. Doesn't really matter. I'll show you how I do it and you can go from there. Look, it's simple. The only thing you're really going to need for this little job is, you know, I mean, you, you need like 180 grit sandpaper, but I use a plastic weld, JB plastic weld, and I have used the Permatex for years as well. Uh, you'll need something to have, like an applicator. I use these old wooden sticks from uh, like a popsicle or whatever, just whatever you've got laying around, and some bolts. Preferably nothing that's rusted out. I mean, just a decent looking bolt. And you'll you'll know what size you need once you get in there because I'll show you what I did with mine so that you'll know where to place those and how to put them in. But uh, you'll need a few of these. I'd say uh, maybe six to eight, depending on how big the uh, place is that you're, you're fixing. I mean, you might not even need that much. But uh, something, preferably steel, a bolt, uh, maybe a steel rod, something that you can this weld on and have it set in to use it as a brace but I'll show you that now I've had to do this repair before on different bumpers um, when I did modifications to some of the vehicles I did back in the day uh, you might get a bumper for another vehicle and you might have to cut it uh, I've cut in, I've cut up to 16 17 different pieces in one bumper and put it back together just so that I can make it fit to a car that I wanted it to fit to as you can see you can see from some of the cracks, I'll get a little more close up on some of this, but there's still a hole here, and uh, there's a couple other places, but uh, I'll fill that in with body filler, and uh, I'll show you how I do that also, but first things first, I'll show you how I use these and where I've had to put this back together and give you a detailed look at it. Okay, I'm going to start with the outside of the bumper, and as you can see, there is a hairline crack that runs here all the way up. Like I said, there's a piece there that's missing. That got broke out and lost. I don't know where that was at. I would like to have put that back, but it's not there. Uh, this whole piece was actually broke off the whole bumper. This piece here where it connects back in runs all the way across over to here and comes back down to here. And I actually put this piece back in. This piece actually broke off. As you can see, it's, it's tight and it's solid because of the process that I've used. I also went ahead and used the uh, Permatex and stuff and the JB Weld in these holes, put a little bit in there so that I can body fill over top of that and take this out because this is where the plate goes for the license plate. But uh, here in West Virginia, we don't have to run a front plate and I'm not gonna run a front plate, so I wanna clean it up and get it smooth, get it looking nice so that when I do paint it, it's, it's a smooth, clean finish. There's no holes, no gaps anywhere. Like I said, I'll go back with the body filler. Now I'm gonna show you the inside of this bumper and show you how I put this in. If I'm stuttering, stuttering a bit and kind of tripping over my words, it's cold as a witch's titty out here. I mean, it's like in the low 30s because we've had some snow and we're going to get some more snow tonight. And I have the blaster, this master uh, torpedo heater, and I'm trying to save some of the uh, gas for later on tonight when I come back out to work, it's midday now and I don't want to burn up all the gas today. I want to wait until I come back out tonight and I'll do some more work on it later. But uh, let me get to showing you the inside. Nope, that rambling shit. Uh, I'll show you the inside and show you how I actually put this together. First things first, uh, whenever I put this back together when it comes across, you can see right here, it looks kind of smooth here, but Put this edge back together i butt it up against the piece and i try to keep it as level as possible what i'll do is i'll use these clamps like this and i'll hold it in place and then i'll seal underneath where the crack is where it runs across all the way across where the crack is on the inside and i, I put a thick coat on there then once that's sealed that 
that amount that I put over the crack on the inside, which follows the line on the outside, once that's hardened, after I've had these in place on both sides and let it set, I go back and I take a bolt or a screw and I put it in there so that it's just sitting against this part and this part of the bumper, your, your actual bumper uh, support and the actual bumper itself. And I'll put Permatex around the bolt. I'll coat the actual bolt so that there will be no rust to form on it. And then I really put it together on the, these two places. I also do it here. I did it here. And I did it back in here. And I did that so that this thing would have support like it's supposed to. I can actually pick this bumper up from this place right now. And this was totally broke off of the bumper. All because I put these pieces in. And then after I put these pieces in, I go back with, and this is Permatex. As you can see, there's a difference in the Permatex and the clear looking bead that's back there, which is actually the JB Weld. This is a little, it'll dry a little thicker, but it does hold well. And I've put, like I said, I put these bolt, these, uh, these bolts in here in numerous places so that it would give this bumper some more stability so that it won't be as brittle and easy to break uh, from the weather in the future. Uh, this actually broke because I went to lean down and look under the car and I put my hand on top of this to use it as a brace and it snapped the whole top of this off. So I had to put this back together. Now these, this JB Weld and this Permatex, I think they run anywhere from six to nine dollars a tube. It's not bad. I've been through I think four tubes on here. So that's, you know, I'm still under 50 bucks on this thing and that's with buying the sandpaper to sand the top down and, you know, and then of course I had to spring for the, for the body filler, which I'll show you that in the next segment. This is just going to be a one segment deal on how to put this in, but it's in and it's, it's basically together like it should be. And as you can see, there's a difference where the, where the green line is, is a difference in the actual uh, height where they come together. This side's a little further down than this side, but not by much. And with some 180 grit sandpaper, you can go over this and you can smooth this out. You'll come back with the body filler and you'll fill in the rest and then sand that back down. I'll show you how to do that on the next one. But this is basically how I put a bumper back together. Like I said, I've cut one into like 16, 17 pieces, so it works. If you want to try this, go ahead and try it. It's not that expensive.